Misa di bale di muito a e kadi a ta pa di kiu di nenzo kongo te za bolbe di te kiri di bale proseso di kodi di mo. So a mero di ongo kwa di siari ma di doa wanda a wad fo.
momento, se la person. So the less you rejoice, and I give thanks to God for this day. day. Thank, Thank you. you. Paris Somalia, 
we thank the Lord for this day today. This is mass today. We will be led by the new ordained priest, Reverend Father Samuel Odong, who comes from this parish. We thank the Lord for this day. I will have a good day. I will kindly ask the parish priest to welcome all of our visitors. Uh, Father Samuel Odong, this, this is the first mass you are saying that I am attending and we are attending today. So I welcome everybody to praise the King to attend this solemn mass led by Reverend Father Samuel Odong. May God bless all our activities today. Thank, Thank you very much. I thank you, the Father Uh Just uh, at this time, I will now request Father, who is the main celebrant, to now take us through this Eucharistic sacrifice. I request we keep our phones either off or in silence so that it does not interrupt our liturgy. For any assistance, we have the assas and the people protocol who are there. In case you need a help, please kindly consult them for any assistance. Thank you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear people of God gathered here today, I welcome you in the celebration of this Holy Mass. We shall divide roles. I will be the main celebrant. <laughs> Mr. Demaria, my main celebrant. <laughs> and then the preacher will also be different. I would like to introduce the preacher for today's Mass. The homily will be given by Reverend Father Dr. Pius Yabuta. Father Parish Priest, uh, Father Pius Sibuta, Erifemani Embata. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to the Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in order that I have not what I dare to do, not my thoughts, not my thoughts, not my thoughts, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We remain standing to receive the word. There's a gospel procession. Choir, you can lead us in that song.
take our seats to listen to the readings. Abachoni Rivara, Muzoduko, Droni Lerizo. Our first reading uh, shall be in Lubarati. It is from 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 5, 7 to 12. Those who have the Sunday bulletin, you can as well follow from there. And our second reading shall be in English. I now invite the one taking the first reading to come here. Oduko engapi buku alozo opi diri Opi egaro solomone ni gibionia orobisira. Adro yo erini kini. Izi afamini leleri matia. Manga erife minira. Solomone on the kini. Opi adroma nirela. Eba atibo mivleri opi ro. Ma ati davide ma paria. Te manga kiri karilioni. Anini bamadri chelsi ko. Eba ma bamini kakao. La koko di ma asala efe mani ondwa ba mi vule di ma di chezu e yo adarisi e yo mokeri ma esele chozu e yo onjiri be kovudi niku ma echo ba mi vule kaka udi ma di chezu ngoni ruya. Opi ovu aikosi. Solomon ni iyo di zizu risi. Yoani erini kini. Mini ondwa iyo. Lizu kililiri a izu i. Edri o azu eu ezori a izu ku. No. Loni a izu. Dra aribo mivuleri diri pie kurisi Manga afamini a ileri fera Manga mini ondwa Vini vata angiri Agwe zini oku esu ko Vini agwe zini nga Esu alwane kuri fera Eyo opidiri i.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, we know that in everything God works for good with those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. For those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. And those whom he predestined, he also called. And those whom he called, he also justified. And those whom he justified, he also glorified. The word of the Lord. May we rise up for the gospel. I'm at the pastor of Rusi. And this is our man of Muzo, Yes, you buy my booty beeping in a kidney. Caribuni Rikile, Lonibani Zilem Werle, Aquazini Suera, Gari Zibile Dika, Loninde Maikosi, Gafa Ipla de Ozi Woro, Ampu de Zezo. Caribuni Rikile, Aguafa, Ozi Pirini, Oni at Zeruri, Darle, Ereni Suzo Borea, Gafa Ipla de Ozi Woro, Erizezo. Dika, karibu ni rekile, embaba ni pele ombezo kwa, ebi o bintondo di bipi direle. Erini gazo treborea, ba ebi bipi di nga erese kutia, eide reva, ebi muke di oya bati kwa, onzi di obe asea. Eringovu dile anguni okorea. Malaika inga emu, Ba onzi di maisele cho ba muke di pie. E inga ba onzi di yobe oka tia pari awupini ofuzo sinya zaberia. Liesu zi e ikini. E vayo di maifi wororaya. Ombikini. E. Yodi e ini kini. Ba o sisi o sipi kari buniri ya re. Kile akuipi imafa o i di ofupi oku ipie ible eroare le. Jesus said to the to the crowds, the king the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then in his joy. He goes and sells all that he has 
and buys the, that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls, who on finding one pearl of great value, went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net which was thrown into the sea and gathered fish of every kind. When it was full, men drew it ashore and sat down and sorted the good into vessels, but threw away the bad. So it will be at the close of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They say to him, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. Evangelia Mopi, yes, Christo de. My dear people of God, God has blessed us with a new priest who we have been seeing year after year as a seminarian. Today we are seeing him as a priest. As he said, I used to sit there, and also Father William, we used to sit there. Today we are giving Father this opportunity because of his ordination to be our main celebrant. As he said, I am very happy about that. But as I look to my left, I can see the parents far left. <laughs> Mr. Benedict Ayer, can you stand up with the Paulina Ayer? <laughs> can you remain standing for a few minutes? Those two are a husband and wife. <laughs> I think God had a blessing on this family. I believe 
the more a family is a Christian, the more your home is home of God. God will always select somebody from your family to go to save him. Those two brought to me in Pokia Seminary, Father Odong Samuel. Because Samuel had that call to become a priest. It is wonderful when a father and a mother can take their son to a seminary to become a priest. Thank you very much, Mr. Benedict and Paulina. Thank you, you can now sit down. They brought to me Samuel Odom. They had to see me because I was a rector of Pokia Seminary. I cannot understand fully what God has in this. The one I received as a small, as a seminarian, was a rector. Now he's becoming a priest when I'm now a parish priest. I first received him as a seminarian, that was okay. I saw him for years in the Pokia Seminary, I think for five years. Yeah. Then, he's a priest. I'm very happy about that. Very, 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 very happy. He is succeeding what his father started. It was this week I knew that Mr. Benedict was all one time in the seminary. <laughs> I couldn't go further than that, but one day I will ask Paulina to cook nice food for two of us so that we finish the story. <laughs> But he briefly told him he was sick. That is why he had to go home. But if he did not go home, there would be no father somewhere. <laughs> that is a police officer. If there are any policemen here, they should be happy that a policeman's son has become a priest. Yes. He has moved near a home. He whispered to me that he's about to retire. But before he retires, he has seen the son, he has seen the son a priest. I think that is a full satisfaction for him and the family. When Father Don joined the seminary, I can still remember a small boy in a khaki pair of shorts, <laughs> a white shirt, running up and down in Pokia Seminary compound. But as he grew, trousers came in. <laughs> And his standard of academics also grew up. And each year, academically, he performed very well. In the seminary, we evaluated students every time. Every time you receive a report about your son. And we promote them according to their academic performance and behavior. And Samuel went from senior one to three and up to A level. We were always promoting him because he was a very good boy, calm, hardworking, very respectful. 
we never spend a long time when we were evaluating him. Everybody would say he gets A in behavior. A in behavior. If he gets B, it may be in academics, but B is still good. So we promoted him until he finished Pokea Seminary to join the major seminary. He was one of the first, I mean some, of those who studied science subjects in A level. I think, Father, you are a treasure for the diocese in the store. Uh, you will not be forgotten of that. The purpose of Spokane Seminary is to train future priests. Is to train future priests. That is the purpose why Pokea Seminary is there. Don't send anybody who is not willing to become a priest to go to Pokea. You will find life very difficult. And don't force your children to go to Pokea Seminary. Otherwise they will find anything, everything a burden from A to Z. As I was a rector, sometimes these type of people will cause some trouble so that they are sent away. But Samuel will always come and we saw priesthood in him right from Pokea Seminary. The aim of forming the students is that they have to be, they have to be Christ-like because they are to be shepherds they will act like teachers and prophets and in the kingship of Christ. Yesterday, when we were for this ordination, Father Samuel, you are a priest now. I used to talk to you as a seminarian. The talk of being a seminarian in me has ended with your priesthood. <laughs> now I have to talk to you as a priest who can even become a parish priest and you will go to work with God's people. So from today onwards, all my talks will be about priesthood. Now, the first thing is by your baptism, you are a missionary. All of us, because of our baptism, we are missionaries. And being a missionary means you are ready to devote your life in preaching the gospel and profess your faith. You are a missionary to the whole world. Although you are a diocese and priest to teach the word of God, you are going to be a shepherd to God's people and guide his flock. This is the best parish for getting the idea of being a missionary. Because this parish has Everyone in West Nile, here, one or two, from one region or another. And this parish, there are people from all over Uganda. Every time I learned more. In our church, for second and third mass, you can see the whole country in the church, because we stand in front of you, we see. We have Sudanese here. We have Eritreans here, whom we waited also in our church. We have Congolese here. The other day some came to pray with us, they are going back to Bunia. We have Kenyans here. Even the other Sunday I met a Kenyan who is helping us, you know, Esan Asa. Of course, he speaks a very tough Swahili. <laughs> But I understood without replying him. (laughs) 
So we have everybody here. Father, this experience will help you very much. That God's people, and the Catholic Church is universal. The Catholic Church calls everybody. And I'm very happy that this parish is like a rainbow of so many colors, but beautiful to see together as we are. Father, you are now ready. You have been appointed by the bishop. And uh, what you can see also for yourself is you are ready to go. You are ready to go to your place of appointment. And this is what will always be with you. That wherever you are appointed, you go. I will get you some explanation to you later. You are going to God's people. And these God's people will form your community. You will pray for people. You will know their situations in their homes and outside. You will know your flock where you are posted. And there you will get brothers and sisters. And you will accompany them in their faith going ahead. You are going ahead, you will be in front of them because of the good examples. Please, your good example you exhibited in the seminary and here in the parish and even the major seminary, lead that in order to lead God's people. And they will show you ahead and you will succeed in them. You are a diocesan priest. As a diocesan priest, all the priests in this diocese will be your friends. Together in fraternity, you will foster your spiritual life. Your human relationships will grow and improve with the pastoral activities and develop unity among the priests and unity with the bishop and in unity with other missionaries working in a rural diocese and the religious institutes and societies of apostolic life and the lay people. Today, this is the last time I'm going to preach in your presence. The next challenges will be yours in your Paris work and here, you will always prepare your word of God in the scriptures, tradition of the church, and the teaching of the magisterium of the church. You have become a priest because you saw others are priests, and when you saw them, you said, I should like to become one, and today you have made it. But that comes with a challenge. And that challenge is that you are going to also promote vocations. You are going to promote vocations to the priesthood. It will be one of your responsibilities. These numbers of yesterday are, the, are one of the greatest moments of the history in this diocese. One time, there were 12 priests in one ordination. Yesterday, with eight and other deacons. That was a great number. Let us thank God for that, to have this number. <laughs> to have this number is not easy. Some dioceses have nothing, nobody. They have to wait for ordinations for one, two, three years. In order to get one, you have to wait for many years. But God blessed us, and Father, you are one of them. If they are clapping because you are there, I think. Uh, that was great. It was very great. Now, as a diocesan priest, be devoted to follow Christ. 
in celebrating the Eucharist as we are. May you a good example always continue wherever you receive God's people. Good example teaches all our brothers here better than what we say. Even Paul, Paul said the same. He said, preaching the word of God is not enough. But the good example makes the word of God stronger. And one spirituality of the son priest is in obedience. Our obedience in the Catholic Church starts with the Pope. Then comes to the Bishop. Then you remain in fraternity with the priests of the diocese. And you remain faithful to your church and take up the devotion, the Marian devotion in your life. The challenge is the communion with the church. The communion of the church which we have to follow from the Pope, the bishops. This is a challenge for all of us as priests. Although we are united by the one same sacrament, but this, as the and priest, our communion can set us in difficulties when we don't follow the Pope and the Bishop. We shall pray for you. For us, the and priest, my brothers and sisters, we are counted on our obedience to the Bishop. Father Samuel, if there is something I ask from your mother, it will be for prayers for you. Prayers for you, and I will say the same from your father. Benedict and Paulina, you will remain parents of father forever. Pray for him obedience to the bishop. Even I will tell Samuel that when one is not obedient to the bishop, you just run in trouble. You run in trouble. If you are obedient to the bishop, you will always be in peace. And this is all over the world. The way the Catholic Church is, the way the Catholic Church is structured, and what is written in Vatican II documents, that the bishop is the bishop of the place. Once you are disobedient to him, you are already in difficulties with the whole church. And when the bishop says no, that no goes all over the world. When the bishop says yes, that yes goes all over the world. Someone tried to discuss with me about this. I went and got him the Vatican II documents and canon law. Say, you see for yourself. See for yourself. If you say yes to the bishop, and bishop says yes to you, you are moving okay. If the bishop says something, he expects yes from you, and you say no, you are raising issues for you. So we live in a communion under the bishop within the local church. Is one of the components of priesthood. And therefore our universal church, where we are now, depends on one's relationship with the bishop. My dear parents, continue to ask Paulina and the Benedict, when my son goes to you. Ask him in low tones, how is your relationship with the bishop? That's a very important question in the Catholic Church. It's very important. As you move on, 
the Catholic Church, Father Samuel emphasizes spiritual life of the priest. Spiritual life of the priest begins with the word of God. That Bible you got from the bishop, let it always be your Facebook for the word of God. Facebook. And there you will get your spirituality in priesthood. You are going to be a minister of the sacraments. And the most important sacrament will be Eucharistic celebration. That will help you so much. As a shepherd, continue to lead your flock. Continue to lead your flock. You lead your flock in such a way that the flock always see you, but not turn away from you. There is a way these Christians follow us. If they see you on the straight line, they look at you. But when they see you are not in straight line, they look elsewhere. So they will leave you go alone. They will leave you go alone. So your example will always continue in your life, you know, to have followers and continue. Of course, the life of prayer is just like food. Prayer for us priests is like eating food. If you don't cook one day, you will be a hungry man and an angry man. You say a hungry man is said to be an angry man. And therefore, a prayer will help. Prayerful life will help you, especially in the liturgy of ours. In the Marian devotion spiritual direction, then too this will help. In obedience, we pray to God. We can disobey, but we can correct ourselves. The most important thing in Christianity is, as we disobey, God, but we can change. We can always change. My brother and sisters, we can always change. And for us priests also, we can also change if we want to change. We can change if we want to change. And we can change. And that will be good for us. <coughs> Yesterday, Bishop announced that for your first appointment, he did not consult you. You are asked to go. You just have to go. <laughs> the church discourages us priests to ask the bishop to take us to the places we want. If there is any transfer and you say no, Bishop, don't take me there. I want to be in charge of finances of the diocese. <laughs> or Bishop, don't take me there. I want to go to the other parish. We are discouraged to do that. We have to be completely blank, not to ask where we are supposed to go. As one of you asked, can Samuel remain here in Christ the King? I said, you are asking what will never happen. <laughs> never it will happen like that. None of us chooses where he has to go. None. If you choose to go where you want by yourself, it will not work. It will not work. And you cannot self-appoint yourself. Remember the embassies the bishop made. I'm going to assign you to a station. I'm going to assign you to a station. So you go to your station. That's all. 
You go to your station. Nobody assigns himself. You go to the station where you are. You cannot ask for favors from the bishop. But later on, even when you will dialogue with the bishop, it will not be you to decide. It will be the bishop. So, Father, guide yourself in this. One problem all the priests face is financial support. And the documents of the church tell us it's you, the Christians, to give the financial support for the priests. For the priests. It's you to give financial support for the priests. If a priest is miserable, is unable to obtain even the minimum standards of living. We look at you, the Christians. If you love the church, you will love to support your Christians. Your priests. You are allowed, and you are allowed to support the priests in whatever situation we are. Even when a priest is sick, how many Christians God care for them? You care for us when we are healthy. You mind of us when we are healthy. But when we are already in the hospital, how many people go to see us? When we go to pray in the church, you feel the church. But when we are in a rural referral hospital, how many people go to see us? How many people go to see us? So supporting a priest is not only financial, but also what is the condition of priest that needs your help? That needs your help. Therefore, the financial security of the priest, my dear brothers and sisters, is on you to help. Father Samuel, I, I don't know what your condition would be like. I think you are going to Nyadri. Yes. He's going to Nyadri. On my way home, I will always stop there and see you very clear, slowly. Are you getting thinner or are you getting shorter? Are you getting whatever it is? I will be checking on you. But I will not talk, of course. I will not talk of that. The priest you are going to stay with, I know him. He was also in the seminar. I was also his rep. So I will find the two of you as my former students. When you were in the seminary, we used to say, when I will be a Paris priest, my diet will be chicken for every breakfast. <laughs> I will have eggs for tea break. Later on, chicken again but with the iris potatoes <laughs> this is what you are saying this is when I meet your Paris priest you are going to I said how many chickens have gone now <laughs> but when I actually became a Paris priest I could not even implement this financially things were not easy uh, chicken comes like a chance. <laughs> there will be situations you will have to bear. And as a curate, I will ask you, 
to respect your first priest. It would not be nice to hear, oh, somewhere in the first priest are in the loggerheads and all this. No. Stay as friends and stay in unity and you do, you do your work together and happily, happily, be happily. We the priests, the bishops have been thinking very hard of us. What to do when we fall sick? What to do? Because some of our sicknesses can cost in money 10 million, 13 million, etc. What should they do? So what the Episcopal Conference has done is there is an amount of money each priest can, should pay all the diocese 500,000 a year, 500,000 a year. Then you will get medical care of 5 million shillings. If your treatment goes beyond that, they will not go. They will not. So we, the priests, were on our knees that my sickness, whatever I have, should not take me over 5 million. Because over 5 million is not a joke. Fortunately, something very good the bishop has done. For the last two years, he has been looking for this money. Father Samuel, you will be asked to take a photo and take to the financial office for your security. But every year, we pray and we can doubt because money issues are not easy. So for five million, if it reaches your year, then it will be good. Because our illnesses come with old age and whatever comes in our life. And that is one of the reasons why we are trying to, the diocese is trying to mobilize you people. All of us are also mobilizing that houses for the elder priests and the sick priests should be constructed in Pokia Seminary. And we are going to do it with your help. If it, for my sake you cannot give a hundred a month, if it, for the sake of Father Samuel you cannot give a hundred shillings a month, and all fellow priests you cannot give a hundred shillings, my dear brothers and sisters, what can you then give for us? If you cannot afford to give one hundred shillings, what can you then give for us? Give us this man at least 100 shillings a month, which you can even give more, by the way. Some of you are very strict. <laughs> they strictly give 100, even if they put 100,000 100, a year, strictly 100 shillings. No, that is now over-exaggeration. You can give more, 1,000, 3,000, and so forth. And that the celebration when that project will be over will be for everybody who has contributed this money. And I think that would be nice if you contribute. You know all of us, we are here. Please help us. Help us. Help us. Your support for us will continue will continue. Another issue the church talks about is our relatives as priests. I'm sure, Father, you have uncles here, aunties, and others. I have also uncles and aunties. They asked me about the three cows left out of my mother's marriage. I said, how now? The three cows were not paid by my late father 
So I should pay. I said, Greek cows. For those who are new here, that, that is a tradition. If your fathers fail to pay you as the son, you will have to pay. And when I fell sick, they said, oh, yeah, you have not paid the... <laughs> you have not paid the three cows. <laughs> and when I got better, they said, you pay now. <laughs> These are some of the problems people bring to us. As a priest, people go look for us where we are. But I will advise, try to pull the priest aside. Wherever you come from, these things don't include us. We will not help. Because one thing you have to know is, as a priest, we have no salaries, we have no allowances. We have no salaries. Where do we get the money you ask from us? Here, if I tell you that Father William and I get 150,000 shillings a month, will you believe or not believe? Will you believe or not believe? If you don't believe me, you ask Father William. These are, these are challenges we face. Issues of money connected to us are not easy. I had an accident. I had an accident, motor accident. My car was in police. Then later we had to push it to the parish and somebody helped me to repair. It was stolen. I had to ask, uh, I was asked to pay compensation. I was asked to pay compensation. I sold a lot of things I had, my own properties. Now I was left with 13 million to pay, 13 million. I was unable to pay. People were telling me, oh, go to the parish, oh, what, and so forth. I never liked that, and I never asked for anything. The first thing was, the people in my village, first of all, came to see me as a clan in a diofe when I was resting there. They went back and came again and brought for me some money collected by the clan. Collected by the clan. I did not know how to cover this. They had already paid, I did not know how to cover this 13 million. I prayed to God. A relative just showed up, said, how much money is left? I said, 13. I'm coming back. He brought for me 13 million. A relative brought me 13 million. So we finished that case outside the court. But there is an argument I would like to disagree with. That oh, we were given to the bishop, we were given to the diocese, let the diocese now. For me, my approach is different. The bishop and my relatives have to work together. They work together. They work together. I am a priest for people of God. My relatives don't abandon me. They love me. They helped me. They advised me. They counseled me. The same like other priests also came to me to advise me how, how to go about it, etc. I will even say, my dear Benedict and Paulina, 
when you have time, come to see someone. Come to see someone. Pick a few people, your friends or clans. You come to see someone. How is he? How is work? I'm sure you will not come to see him empty-handed. Some will be happy, say, mommy has come, and daddy is also here, he has a retired baby. And you, the relatives, come to see somewhere when he's there. Come to see in what situation he is. As the diocese may help one side, you, you are still our uncles, you are still our sisters, you are still our relatives, you also come to see us. You may find us facing some challenges. Come! Don't leave us suffer silently alone. Maybe he has issues in his heart, you will only tell to the mother or the father. Even when someone goes home, Why don't you give him transport money to come back? I will do so. You should do so. Sisters, brother-in-laws, aunties, whatever. I, I have to tell you again, the financial situation of a, a priest needs joining hands together, needs us together, needs us together. I can only quote my example because when people ask me how do I help you, I tell them nothing. Why? If you want to give me something, you give. That's all. So visit someone. Visit him as a brother, as a son of your sister. Visit him and that will be good. And that will be a good thing, uh, Samuel, for you. Samuel, when an, an opportunity comes, you can also help them when there is an opportunity. Maybe I give you 20,000, maybe you can give 10 to mom. This is what I mean. Let us help on both sides. We help on both sides. You are being sent now to the world. The challenges will begin. And Jesus has already told us this. You know, the last about two Sundays, Jesus has been very hard. Jesus has been very hard because he's teaching, people are not believing. He's asking for change, people are not changing. People are not changing. They have ears, but it is as if they have no ears. They have ears, but as if they are dumb. They don't like change. This is started from Jesus' time. So Father Samuel, this type of people are there. The church can be full, but how many come for communion? The church can be full, but they've been quarreling. Jesus asks for change. Now Jesus gets uneasy. He begins to talk in parables. He begins to talk in parables. Today he talks in a, in a way of the kingdom of God the heavenly kingdom of God. Father, we are supposed to lead these people to heaven, but Jesus has not been happy because people are not ready to go to heaven. But in the local language, I, I usually read it and emphasize it. Even when I preach in English, I, you know, in the local language, I found that very interesting. Badi masimbamba. Badi Mansi Mbamba. 
Because, he, you know, he's asking when they say, you change this, you do this, you do this. But Jesus comes, they are the same. Even next Sunday, they will be the same. Next week, the same. Next year, the same. Hey, Masimbamba. That was Jesus, what Jesus said last now. Hey, Masimbamba. So that needs courage. Father, I will ask you to be courageous. You cannot get our flock for change in a day, not even a year. Sometimes not, not even 10 years. Still some people cannot change. So your situation will be like of Jesus, but we continue. Like this treasure, like this treasure here, we take to be the you know, heavenly kingdom of God. What did these people who found the treasure do? This man spent in order to get this treasure. He had to buy, look for, and buy. He did something. What is it that you are doing? You are making effort. That for you to go to heaven, what are you doing? What is the effort you are doing? You are making. What effort is there? What are you doing in action? But after this, Jesus changes something a little bit again. He said now, it's like a net or, you know, like a drug net. You throw into a lake or a river. You throw this net there, you pull it out. What do you find? Maybe wheat, maybe algae, or some rubbish. But what are you looking for? For fish. So you separate. You separate the fish from the rubbish. And you throw away the rubbish. What is God going to take of you? Which side is God going to put you on? What, where is God going to select and put you. There is a place God has for you and is according to what you do in this world. And we now as priests, when I speak, I know I'm not the best. And when somebody will begin to preach, you are not the best. But you are trying your best to help God's people to understand the message of God and therefore when the day of judgment comes it is interesting to note our Lord's repeated references to the last things especially judgment and hell yes judgment and hell is very clear you may not like to hear hell but it is there what is described there is a hell. Jesus emphasizes these truths because we have the tendency to forget. We have a tendency to forget what God wants us to do. All these things are said so that no one may lay excuse. We should never say, I or I do not know this. This excuse would be valid only if eternal punishment was spoken about it, maybe in ambiguous terms. So our ministry, Father Samuel, I wish you the best. There are a lot of challenges. There are a lot of challenges. People now will begin to come to you for confessions. People will come to you for marriages. Other people will come to you for other sacraments. Do what you can as God's shepherd. I will wish you success. And I thank all those who have helped Samuel to be what he is today. My first gratitude goes to the parents. And all of you who have come 
You have come to support him, if not by your prayers or for whatever. And the choir, uh, my dear congregation, some of your visitors, this is the choir where somebody I used to see him sing and play for them. It's a melody choir. <laughs> so with them, you are a seminarian playing. Now you have no chance to, to go to play the organ now. <laughs> now you have also no chance to join them to sing. Now let them sing on your behalf. So you leave it to them. And all this, I thank the people of Lira for having come. This is a sign that you support his priesthood and you support the parents, their effort. And all of us from Christ the King, let Samuel's ordination be the beginning of more ordinations to come. So send more of your children to Pokia Seminary. I know only a few parents whose sons are in the seminary, or the son is in the seminary. I think the number is not so bad, but I think out of many, God will call them. Uh, Samuel, in your class, I think you are 40? 42, there were 42 when they met me from senior one. How many are priests now? <laughs> Out of 42, five are priests. <laughs> Where are the others? <laughs> Where are the others? Where are they? Now, I can give a, a small answer to that. Um, some work with the URA, some are lawyers, some are teachers, there is one I know who works with the customs, uh, with the customs. I do not know how the customs dress until I met them. They have also got either ranks or in Im immigration. So these are all vocations. If you don't become a priest, God does not condemn you. And he leave that say that because somebody left the seminary, that's why he's always in trouble. No. <laughs> That is not true. That is not true. When the people join, first the church tells us, the formators, not everybody is going to become a priest. Not everybody is going to become a priest. Some will take other vocations, and we are aware of that. And when I was with them, I helped many of them who said they were not in that vocation. I should help them to get other schools. I helped some of them to go to Mbachi. I helped some of them to go to Mvara, Laibi. I helped some to go down uh, Kisubi, etc. But those who are ready to go on, he's here. That's where we lie about the vocations. So let us embrace what God has told you to take in your life. And something in the priesthood, maybe you have not heard, you have seen is, you see, priesthood, there's a strictness in becoming a priest. Even on the day you are going to be ordained, you can be stopped. You can be stopped. If you are in a procession, somebody may be sent to you and said, can you come there yet? The procession goes on. You can be stopped to be a deacon. You can be stopped to become a priest. Even if you are a deacon, you can be stopped from priest ordination. These things in the Catholic Church, they are very old. They are not new. When some of you are surprised, we are not surprised. It's normal. It's normal in the Catholic Church. So don't be so sad, so whatever, somebody is picked out as a deacon or to be a deacon. It happens, and it will continue to happen in the history of the church. 
So this is was just to help us. Samuel, God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Father, for your word. Your priest to Father Samuel, to all of us. I'm sure each one of us will have understood certain things of the Catholic Church. We have understood priesthood, the long journey for one to become as a priest, and the role of the parents also. Father Samuel, I, your name here also makes me to reflect on the family of Elkanah and Anna. The mother said, God, if you give me this child, I will offer him back to you. I think your parents have offered you to do the work of God. Thank you very much, our dear parents. Our choir, maybe we rise up for a creed. You now take us through so that we recite the creed. Oh, 
to celebrate the mysteries of our redemption, that the whole world may be watered from these springs of all blessings and life. Baba no to his stars of Kumadiliani, Madimia Imuzudwa. Easy, a easy, a Nzambe tata, nzambe mwana, nzambe limo satu. Pesa bakonzi na Uganda nguyana yo. Pona kukoli sabana na kati na Uganda malamu to sambela. Ama ezi padri ama nefo waze ripisi. Mopi yes kristo. Ama zamboru simizi. Anzi ama nefo waze ri. Barimine emu yiti pezo zingazo kagulanzi mini nipie bile ama alea. If a nation to if any letter, if a non to a if a nation to present that in a good read and need it. Many Christian in a more teddy in it is a petrol, as a crazy many receives of benefiting me riches in the benefit for O Pillar Kilna Selly, the Nasal Ian from Sheshpa, of rebuilt of siege. Abuna fi sama malish hin lomon hagi lomon hogo na taki. Fadhi na asalo bisi mswal na si. Hii magi kongo to la gatu tuakula. Ngono moye ngono tare ngono yuka na kena. Ngono kwa darma tu kuni roti. Tiki yuka taka skaru me pilu keno la lutate la po ofila. May your mercy, we beseech you, O Lord, be with your people who cry to you, so that what they seek at your prompting, they may obtain by your ready generosity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We can be seated. Now it is time for offertory. It's the offertory in the Mass. Sarindio Tavleri. Uh, 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 u
uh, come to the one who is closer to you. Those who are the offer to the procession, please arrange and you bring the gifts uh, to the altar here.
that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. At the same time, Lord, 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 we pray, the offerings, the offerings which we bring from, from the abundance of your gifts, that, that through, through the powerful working of your grace, these, these most, most sacred, sacred mysteries may sanctify our present, present way, way of life and lead, and lead us to eternal gladness. Through, through Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. the resurrection and Praise so with the angels and all the saints we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim
Feed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your, in your presence and admit that to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring out to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Sabino our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, friends, relatives, in-laws, benefactors, and those who wanted so much to be today, but they could not, whom they have been called from this world, grant that they who were united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, Gildo and Dawoodi, blessed Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be Christ to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, all my 
command and formed by the divine teaching we dare to sing <laughs> from sin and safe from all distress as we wait the blessed hope and the coming 
of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, power, and the reign Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Now it is time for receiving the body of Christ. I will invite the parents of Father Samuel to come and receive from Father Samuel here. Uh, we have a deacons here together with the other priests. They will come and stand near you. You will receive your Holy Communion from there. Those who are prepared to receive, will come and receive from the one uh, distributing who is close to them. Sardi Kumunio Valeri, Diko Nikidwachi, Padrea Zipie, Inga Mo Paso, Padrea Zimaliada, Ekadimi Otura, Midimu, Kumunio Nesuilu Vinyara.
continue to give us some songs of meditation as the deacons clear the altar. After that you will then give us a thanksgiving song uh, for these wonders which the Lord has done, the gift of a new priest and the good which the Lord has done in life of Father Samuel uh, that he has reached the holy altar and the good the Lord has done for the family and all of us. You can continue to give us a meditative song.
there is a thanksgiving song uh, the choir is going to give us uh, let the choir give us that song then i will invite father to have the prayer of the whole communion uh, we have come together to thank god to dance with the father to appreciate god for all this which he has done for us
Okay, you will gently move to your seat. And now, Father, you take the prayer after Holy Communion. We shall have more time to be with the Father after the Mass. Let us pray. We have consumed, O oh Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial Amen. of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that this gift, which he himself gave us, with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated. Uh, many celebrant, Father Samuel, uh, the Paris priest of Christ the King Paris. Uh, Maybe the Paris priest of Father Samuel, the Paris from in Lira, is here around. Yes, this is uh, the Paris priest who Father Samuel, so Paris in Lira. Yes. The parents, relatives, and all of you, uh, I once again say you are most welcome. Indeed, today is a great day. As the preacher said, then then small boy who was in Pokia Seminary, now he is a priest. A priest in the Catholic Church is an elder. I uh, thank you, Father, for having gone through all these years to be in seminary is not an easy thing. If you ask each one of us, we have a story to tell how we have walked all these years. Thanks for the perseverance. And we thank the family for this gift they have given for the church to do the work of God. It is really a big gift. I've been seeing the, the parents. They were seeing how Father is doing the thing on the altar looking at a certain angle. Father did it very well. Father, thank you. Yes. Uh, my task here is simple. I'm going to introduce uh, the clergy, all who have come and they have come celebrated together with Father, together with the religious. Uh, we also have the catechists and the other associations who are here. At this particular time, I would like to introduce uh, to the congregation, uh, the clergy. Uh, I would like to start with our catechists. Dear catechists, please may you rise up so that the congregation sees you. These are the people who work with us. They are our first teachers in the catechism. I'm sure there was a catechist who talked Father Samuel Catechism as a young boy. Thank you very much for the work you do for us. Also, we have the different associations. I see the Chuad, the Saint Kizito, the choir. Thanks, choir, for the nice melody which you have given for us. They are here. I see the choir who have been on duty here in this. At the Paris Center here, we have three choirs. There is All Saints Choir, they sing in the first mass. There is St. Augustine Melody Choir, the ones whose voice you have heard just in this mass. And they are the ones who have sung in this mass today. We have Mary Immaculate Choir, I'm sure they have joined this choir. They have been together uh, singing for us in this mass. And there are also other uh, associations, we have the Assas, they are mixed with us here, they are helping us in other areas. Uh, we have our various uh, altar servers who are here. 
they help us during the mass to help the priest. And the fathers will be celebrating the mass. These are some of the people you will find and who will help you. Sometimes you go to chapels, you find this, the, the altar servers and the catechists who will be the one to prepare for you the things and help you during the mass. They are very important. They help us a lot. And actually, these are some of the people where we tap also vocations, the water servers. I'm sure at a certain age, you also did like them, and you was a role model for them. We pray that we get more vocations from them. Uh, let me now introduce the priests who are here with us. First, we have Reverend Father George Okello from Lira Catholic Diocese, who is the first priest. Father, you are most welcome to Arua Diocese and to Christ the King Paris. We thank you so much for offering us Father Samuel. We have a Reverend Father Geoffrey. Geoffrey from Lira Diocese. Father is here. Father, you are most welcome. We have Reverend Father Joseph Ogwal. Father, you are most welcome. Uh, just this week we were together in Gulu, and thanks for following uh, Father Samuel up to here. Then we have uh, Reverend Father Jimmy Ojede. He's my OP. <laughs> yes, we were together in Katigondo. Yes, Father is from Lira Diocese. Uh, we have Reverend Father James Anguelia. He is the chaplain of Arua Referral Hospital and it belongs to this parish also. Uh, we have Reverend Father Robert Ojama. He is the parish priest of Ajia Catholic Parish. Uh, we have Reverend Father Epiphany Odubokel. I don't know if I have pronounced it right. He works in the university. Yes. Uh, this one here I don't want to introduce. The parish priest, he will introduce himself and he will also introduce the new priest. Uh, let me introduce to you the deacons. Uh, we have Deacon Francis Agenonga from Nebi Catholic Diocese. Uh, we have Deacon Donald Adubango also from Nebi Catholic Diocese. Uh, with us, we have sisters. I will introduce them according to their congregation. We have the Sacred Heart sisters who are right here with us. Sisters, may you rise up and welcome to the congregation. Thanks for coming. Uh, we have sisters of daughters of merciful love of Jesus and Mary, Queen of Apostles. These ones are not too bad. Most welcome. We have little sisters of Mary Immaculate Gulu. Welcome, sister. Uh, we have sisters of mercy of the Holy Cross. Uh, we have uh, brothers here with us. We have a brother from MYDM. Please, may you rise up. Yes, brothers, right there. And then we have seminarians who are right here with us. If they are rise up, our hope is in you. We need the next priest and we look towards you. Let us continue to pray for them. Yes. Uh, if there are other religious leaders from other denominations seated anywhere, maybe I invite you to stand up either from the Anglican Church or from Islam. Okay, it seems they're not there. Uh, anybody here whom I've not introduced? I think I'm done this side. I am Father William. Uh, at this time, I am going to invite our MC to read for us the programs for this week. After the MC is done, I will then invite the parish priest who will introduce himself and also the new priest. Thank you. You're welcome.
Thank you very much, Father. Uh, before we read the program of the week, uh, you already announced at the start of the Mass that uh, we shall be having a second collection. Normally, when couples wed, I'm sure we accompany them in their new home. And we are already aware that the Father has been posted to Nyadri. We would like to have a second collection so that we make him smoothly move from Christ the King to Nyadri Paris. I therefore request the choir to give us a song, let us support Father. The priest already said we need to support these people. And so we are beginning right now. Choir, give us a song as we make this second collection. Asas kindly place the baskets in appropriate places and we support. Thank you. for that song. Thank you for supporting our Reverend Father Samuel in his journey to the new station. Father already introduced the, the team from the altar here. Uh, my team shall be introduced at an uh, appropriate time after the, the clergy has gone to invest and come back. But uh, I will just wish to introduce in a special way our special visitors who travel all the way, all the way from Oyam, kindly stand for our congregation and the parishioners here to see you. Visitors from Oyam, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. 
for traveling all the way from there up to here. I was there when I was still small, now I've forgotten the language. I should have repeated you that language. Thank you very much for coming to Christ the King and for having given us a priest or so from that side. Uh, the rest of our dignitaries here, as I said, we shall introduce you uh, shortly when the priest will have invested and come back for the second part of this celebration. Today is uh, 17th Sunday, our program of the week and the announcements. Our team work for the small Christian community of Christ and Catholic Center Chapel shall start this coming week on Wednesday we are requesting all the uh, prayer group uh, prayer leaders from the small Christian community leaders to come and receive or pick our uh, seminarians who will go for this teamwork in your small Christian community the program is as follows on Wednesday 2nd of August 2023 the following small Christian communities should come to pick the seminarians. Maria Goretti Small Christian Community, St. Augustine Small Christian Community. You will come to pick them from the Paris Center here at 8 a.m. Kindly follow that time. On Thursday, 3rd of August, the following small Christian communities, St. Daniel Comboni and St. Timothy Small Christian Community also come at 8 to pick the seminarians to go to your uh, small Christian community. Friday, 4th August, we shall have St. Ignatius Small Christian Community and St. Gonzaga Gonza Small Christian Community. On Saturday, 5th, we shall have St. Teresa and St. Francis of Assisi. On Monday, 7th of August, we shall have St. Anthony and St. Joseph Small Christian Communities. As I said, kindly come to pick the seminarians from the Paris Center here. The Assessor and Lay Apostolate team work. Their program to visit our Paris will be on 4th of August next month. This is, I think, on Friday at 9 a.m. The venue shall be at the Paris Hall. Repentance and Session Retreat is scheduled for 5th of August 2023 uh, at 9 a.m. here in the Paris Center. Infant baptism for the month of July is scheduled for 5th of August and the choir that shall animate the baptism mass shall be All Saints Choir. The registration for infant baptism for the month of August is ongoing also in the office of the catechist and that of the parish priest. Last Sunday, our total offertory collection was 1,701,600 shillings, and the collection we made for the support of the ordination, which took place yesterday, totaled to 627,100 shillings. Sunday school, Offertory collection was 53,200. Next Saturday, our church shall be cleaned by the YCSAs of our City Federation, and they will also be the one taking the liturgy on Sunday in 3rd Mass. Meanwhile, rosary prayer before the evening Mass this week shall be led by the Repentance Association. Public announcement on a missing school child. Mr. Boboliko Johnson, a resident of Senior Cell Mango Ward, Koboko Municipality, together with Springs Nursery and Primary School, announced the disappearance of a girl, Aku Viola, 12 years old, studying at Springs Nursery and Primary School, Arua. Aku Viola moved out of the school on Sunday, 23rd of July, in the evening. She is wearing a dress stripped red and white. Anyone with information of her whereabouts should report to any police station or Springs Nursery and Primary School Arua or call telephone number 
162362. Uh, our next program will be after the concluding uh, prayer, which has already been done, the last blessings after having given us, the priest and the interests here will go to invest and immediately they come back. We are coming for lunch. After here we are coming for lunch, the rest of the other activities shall proceed thereafter. Uh, the sugar levels are already gone, so we will request the priest to go and invest quickly and then come back for the second session of the function. Thank you, Father. I hand back to you. Thank you, MC. We shall invest very fast. Uh, uh, after the uh, last uh, the blessing, the team here will have a photograph and the new priest together with the counselor brands and the parent will shall have a photo here before we proceed. Now I invite the parish priest uh, to take over from here and then we'll now also ask the new priest who will uh, give us the last blessing. Thank you very much. Each one of us is going to introduce himself, but in a style. In the morning yesterday, I met you Deacon Samuel yesterday morning. Today I've seen you different. Have you changed your names? You are called Father, Reverend Father Samuel Odom, Curate of Nyadri Parish. I was your former rector, Father Pius Yobuta, handing you over to Nyadri Parish. So this is Father, Reverend Father Samuel Odong, our former seminarian, now a priest, transferred to Nyadri. Farewell and good journey. Thank you very much. I would also like to introduce my former rector. <laughs> At first he was my rector, then when I escaped him in the minor seminary, I found him again in Christ the King. So he has been a very wonderful formator and many people, I don't know whether it is true, but some people were telling me that I behave like him. <laughs> And so I think that is the fruit of his work. They say that if you are, if, if the students of a school or the pupils in the school move like their head teacher, the walking style is of the head teacher, then you should know that he has the influence on them. So thank you very much, Father, for being a very wonderful formator. God bless you. He's called Reverend Father Dr. Pius Yobuta. <laughs> and his home parish is Koboko Parish. He's the parish priest, the current parish priest of Christ the King. So he's in charge of this place where you are sitting right now. So Father, please, you can take your seat for a moment. 
So I would like to also, in the same vein, introduce some people. They introduced my parents, but there is another significant group who work together with my parents to help, and those are my foster parents. They are from Gulu. My foster dad is Mr. Obalim Maricellino. Thank you very much, my foster parents, for coming. And they came together with my foster brother, who led them here, Dennis Odong. Thank you very much, Dennis. And I would also like to inform you that my parents, my biological parents, are also foster parents. They joined from they joined the association from Christ the King. And the breaking news I have for you is that there will be no much difference even when I go. Because my own foster brother is coming as a new curate of this parish. He's called Reverend Father Morish. Angutoko. But before that one, they had already adopted another son who had already become a priest earlier. That is Reverend Father Lucas Mukose. I think today is a Sunday. He might have been caught up somewhere. He's in Eruba. And then he also has a sister who is a Reverend sister who also became my foster sister called Reverend Sister Maria Dita Kabajungu. She's just there taking my photo. <laughs> they are all the way from Kasese. Thank you very much, Sister, for coming. God bless you. So we can now stand up to conclude. Father Lucas. Father Lucas is around. Father, please wave at the people. <laughs> Thank you very much for coming. Please, all the rest will be maybe introduced in the next session because they told us to hurry up so that you go to one place very fast. God bless you all. receive the final blessing. Bow your heads for God's blessing. After each prayer we shall respond. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you his mercy. turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace. Amen. And may the blessings of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever.
one is time, so photographers, you now move to the Paris. Members of Mary Margaret Choir are requested to move in front of the parish hall for a brief meeting before they come back here. Thank you. Therefore, the team for reception kindly start setting the tables. I'm arrived in front the tables are already set behind the tents. So when the priest comes, uh, straight away go for plants. Uh, all the servers who are around kindly come and help and pick the offertory. Uh, that was offered here and taken into the father's quarters. Thank you. to remain around we have enough food set so let's be around to eat this food
your things here. Back into the quarries. Our four choir mini. And we see a man miss a day. We just kill it. We see. Uh, the team of receptionists would like you to update us so that we call people back to the center quickly and we go for lunch. Our COC chairman ensure that you are within so that you come and allow us to have the lunch. Those who probably came with the special gifts for our new priest, we request you to come and register with us so that when that time comes, we will have it orderly presented. Thank you. I'm going to pass the compound here. Yeah, my dear Ludri, Danya, Nya, Anne, Oba, Kozo, Clement, the Madresi, Bo, Quadri, Kalitza, Ya Tapu, Mabala, Manu, Munya, Nyaria. Our four, Emine, Woro, Muta, and Rissi, Vinya Chita, Padania Chizu, Ati Ridri, the Fuzo Padro, the Malia Rissi. Our four. Banyak madlian ni, bama uji nyam belen belen, mantel lo boleh pad kiri lo musa wa, waria silukon eh, muzuk kaki tsa dia boleh mesuki nyak woro, cable pun madlian si, amani mui nyak tu tu tibeni. 